There's nothing like the feeling of being connected, of the familiarity. There's nothing like home. Bienvenidos a España. This is my chance to bring my team, Fireballs GC, and every league golfer to get a taste of my country. Not just the food, but the flavor, the feeling. There's a warmth and a fiery passion that runs through each and every Spaniard, and I'm proud to represent this country. This weekend, I'm not just at home, I'm at Valderrama, sacred ground for Spanish golf, where Sevi set the standard for all of us to follow. It's not just any course, it's the most stunning, challenging, and creative course on the continent. To the golfers that know, it's the Augusta of Europe. And while its beauty can be captivating, looks can be dangerous. The winds of the Mediterranean Sea can be tricky. The heat can be draining, and the greens deceptive. It's a Spanish gem and the perfect place to start the second half of our season. What an atmosphere! I didn't come to lose. My fireballs are here to win. But so are 11 other teams that are full of champions and major winners. Oh, fantastic. The captain delivers. There's one to remember. He is bumped. Vamos, Andalucía. For Fireballs GC captain Sergio Garcia, being in Andalusia meant not only competing at home, but also enjoying time with his family before the start of the tournament. We can come on the road. It's it's really special because the kids get to see their dad even more. <laughs> We're super excited to be here at Balderrama with our family and uh, really uh, really enjoying the week. I'm very family. I wash my hands like three hours. <laughs> super excited to uh, keep it going. You know, see if we can do something big this week. We will. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Cheers. 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 No wonder this place is known as the Augusta of Europe. Valderrama is one of the most challenging courses in the world. Garcia hoped that the enthusiastic support from his countrymen would help him rise to the challenge. He appears to be quite popular. Says it's his favorite golf course in the world. That'd be a nice cheer if this goes in. Sergio, one off the lead. Can't really go too high. No. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the back of the green. Yeah. Leave it. Take it out. Well, Sergio out of position on number eight. Uh, has this for birdie. Sergio Garcia. See all these fans in my home country, all these kids. It's amazing. There's Waco Neiman, who is the captain of Torque. The all Latin team, Torque GC, fueled by the play of Joaquin Neiman and Mito Pereira. Whips the legs out from underneath that one. Oh! Climbed up the pylon as they looked to add a third team title and establish themselves as Liv's most dominant force. Torque, who are having a fine time of it. That's got to go in, hasn't it? Yeah. Good shot, Bryson. The precision on the greens displayed by Captain Bryson DeChambeau. Oh, he's there. And Anurban Lahiri. Well, Anurban Lahiri to take the outright lead, and in it goes. The pride of Pune, India. Helped Crushers GC surge to the top of the team leaderboard. Third shot for Anurban Lahiri. Ooh, and the last. <laughs> Crushers are in contention. Ripper GC's Cam Smith further cemented his reputation as one of the sport's most skilled putters. His efficiency on the greens put him in contention. Smith proven to be pretty darn good. 
Long range here for Cam Smith. What a good try. Wow! <laughs> uh, just when you expect at least. Yeah, so it's 100 to that. Yep, perfect. To get within one. And he drains it. Just waiting for that breakthrough victory in 2023. It feels imminent. I think the par first and foremost was, was really important for probably my mental health overnight. Yeah, it's great. The fans have been great all, all day. Um, it's good to be in bank. Come on, DK! At the conclusion of the first day, it was four races captain, Dustin Johnson, who showcased his ability to navigate the most difficult of golf courses and held the round one lead. As DJ at nine, slips it in the left corner. For birdie at five, and DJ rolls that one in. DJ for birdie at 10. He looks in a really good frame of mind. Yeah, I feel good. I mean, I think I'm swinging well. I've been swinging well for a while now. I gave myself a lot of looks at birdie, and you know, just need to continue that for the next couple of days. Can I have your hat? <laughs> it's a fabulous venue, it's a tricky venue, and it's fascinating watching these world-class golfers try to negotiate it. At the start of day two, the All-Latin team, Tour KGC, gathered together to strategize how to navigate the Valderrama course. They looked to their teammate David Pouge, who was the low native Spaniard. We need to hit fairways, that's super important. That's the first point, right? If you are under or behind the trees, we're not gonna make birdies, and then we're not gonna win. Plan A, plan A, hit fairways, then what happens? and plan B. No, no plan B, plan A. Well, we're gonna hit fairways. Exactly, so if you commit to plan A, then we're gonna lift the trophy. Plus, you know, we are the only team that won twice this year, so we should we should make it three. Make it three, take exactly. a little advantage. Yeah. And get the, we gotta catch the four aces. I know, four aces are they're tough to beat. They're running away. Yeah, they're running away. Not and then the, the stinkers. How they say? <laughs> the stinkers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Balderrama. The impressive play of Mito Pereira and David Pooch. David Pooch has really helped Torque. Kept the possibility of a third team title alive for Torque. The perfect pace. David Pooch for Torque GC. Looking to go back to back after victory in DC. <laughs> Taylor Gooch was focused not only on his third individual title but also to help the range goats climb up the leaderboard. Taylor Gooch making an early move here. Perfect line, perfect way. He's tied for the lead. So like if this is a pit right, we're gonna have a four iron in. Right. I only think there's a couple yards of help right now yeah. with this shot and everything. Would you agree with that? I would agree with that. Gooch now at 14 for birdie. He made it. Oh, that's incredible. Good job, Tate. Yeah, good job, Tate. Just sensational from Taylor Gooch. Nice, mate. Right there. If that's not good, it's my fault. An absolute exhibition from this young man. Gooch's outstanding play had a significant impact on the Rangers, who took over the team lead. <laughs> Round one leader, four races captain Dustin Johnson overcame early setbacks. Hit it too hard. And remained in title contention. DJ for birdie at 11, yes. We have a stacked leaderboard here at Valderrama in Andalusia. Brooks Kepka has been on fire today. And it's really hotting up out there. Smash GC captain Brooks Kepka began the day in 15th place. Kepka's play was determined and dumb. Oh, that was a wonderful shot. As he charged up the leaderboard. Brooks to within a stroke of our leader, Taylor Gooch. Oh, what an up and down that is. Climbing and climbing and climbing up that leaderboard. And another great look from there. Brilliant from Brooks Kepka. Yes, strokes home with real authority by Brooks Kepka. 
and US 15. Yeah, especially if you're in that high. Crusher's GC's captain, Bryson DeChambeau, have been finding his fool in the past several events. His combination of long drives and birdie putts placed him atop the leaderboard at the end of round two. You said you got this seven, eight inches left? Yeah. Okay, I like seven. DeChambeau for birdie. That'll be down, we're landing three to a 110. Just a 1030, one of these. Yeah, it's perfect. Is it safe to say that Bryson DeChambeau is back? DeChambeau's flawless play propelled the Crushers to the top of the T leaderboard. You're the man, Bryson! Yeah, there it is. Left that putt for 63. Can he end his second round with an eagle? take the overnight lead. Yes, he can. One of the great rounds in live golf history. A 63 is a stroke of genius from Bryson DeChambeau, and he'll take a one-stroke lead into Championship Sunday. Yeah, it was a fantastic round. I had a lot of great things happen to me, um, but I also struck it well. Uh, but it's nice to have support of Europeans. <laughs> I mean, it's a little different than right in that regard, but uh, it was fantastic. Walking up and, and hearing the chants and everything, um, I couldn't ask for anything, anything more. The morning of round three, Bubba Watson, captain of the first place Range Goats, settled in for a pre-game breakfast, focused on finishing the day with the team title. That should be uh, the American breakfast, mm -hmm. but no bacon. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're tied, going to the last day with the Crushers. We're at 10 under par, so you hope your team fires at all cylinders. But uh, me personally, I'm just trying not to uh, mess up for my team and, and stay up there where we're at. What is that, jelly? It's one of those courses where you have to think your way around it. You're just trying to play positions, play the angles with the wind added to it. Um, it's very difficult. Talking to Taylor, he's done this before. Earlier in the year, he's done it two weeks in a row. You just let him do his thing. You let him focus on what he's doing. If we could just have the steady rounds that we had yesterday, and I could just cruise to a victory, that'd be great. So I don't have to do anything. Make good scores, try to save par, and get on that podium. And always, always, go Range Goats. Thank you, Ricky. At the start of round three, Bryson DeChambeau had a singular focus create some distance from his challengers, and to finish the day, holding his first ever Live Championship trophy. A huge day for our leader, Bryson DeChambeau. Go to the left. Bryson DeChambeau is 10 under par. He leads Taylor Gooch by two shots. Taylor Gooch of the Range Goats had been nothing but dominant on foreign soil and looked to continue that trend as he stalked DeChambeau all the way to the top of the leaderboard. And as it starts going down, I still see it moving left. Mm-hmm. Well, here's the guy that's been making the oh. most. Oh. Taylor Gooch, the international man of mystery, is now tied for the lead. Gooch's strong play, along with Captain Bubba Watson, helped the Range Goats stay in the thick of the title chase. Yes. With little notice and a flourish of birdies, Torque, Liv's youngest team, soared to the team lead. Torque in the team competition have a two shot lead. Out of nowhere, Waco Neiman, David Pooch with that birdie. Sebastian Munoz made his birdie. A leaderboard with major winner Bryson DeChambeau and two-time live champion Taylor Gooch became even more crowded with star power. Seeing wins yesterday, maybe a slight bit more help. As Brooks Kepka joined the chase. Been second.
consecutive birdies for Brooks Kepka. The PGA champion is on the charge here at Valderrama. Rising tension on the individual leaderboard was matched in the team competition, where Crusher's GC, led by the red-hot play of Paul Casey, were just two strokes from the top of the pylon. Another birdie for the Englishman. Gooch, Kepka, and DeChambeau were in a taut battle for first. A single mistake would shake an already rocky leaderboard. The wind's got it. It's headed left. That is not where you want it to be. I've just been hoping it's either past it or whatever. It's, it seemed like it didn't. Those are the breaks you get here. Sometimes you get lucky, sometimes not. No, it was a definite not. Bogey at 13. Valderrama was living up to its historic reputation as a course few could conquer. Pooch. David Pooch, he thrives in the team environment. But the 21-year-old Spaniard, David Pooch, found some magic on his home soil. The birdie at 18. Two competitions, both won by Torque. Torque are our team champions here in Valderrama. A third win of the season, a second straight victory. Congratulations to Torque. Good job, man. With the team title secured, attention turned to the tension-filled battle between Bryson DeChambeau and Taylor Gooch. Well, who's going to take this out here in Valderrama? With his first live championship on the line, DeChambeau found himself in trouble with just two holes to play. The whole world is waiting for Bryson yeah. to see what he's going to do right here. That's 195 hole. It's going to be an eight iron. Can you see an eight iron? Yeah. Here goes nothing. Oh, that's amazing. Bryson DeChambeau. It would be such a great feeling for him to win and for me to be here, it would be the best. I'm pretty much a mess. <laughs> Price and nod. Wanders off, it's a good shot. Taylor Gooch for the outright lead. It's pretty good pace. Yes, it is. How's the line? Fantastic. That just cranks up the pressure on Bryce and DeChambeau. None more important than this. To go down the 18th level with Taylor Gooch. He's been grinding all day. Bryson DeChambeau, what a duel we have here in Valderrama. DeChambeau and Gooch level with the 18th to play. Gooch and DeChambeau had matched one another shot for shot. A single hole remained where the title would be claimed and history made. Let's go, Gooch! Beauty, mate. Kind of a David and Goliath story here. Brute strength over finesse. Right over those trees you're talking about. It's perfect. Certainly right of Brooks is, it's really high. Uh, that is in trouble on the wood chips. Well, Gooch a long way back here. Love to smash a six, but I was preparing the six, to be honest. Yeah. I just feel like, you know, it doesn't Boy, this is not good. Fantastic shot. Can Bryson respond? Well, it's going to be very tricky. Can he thread the needle here, Dom? That would be an unbelievably good shot. Boy, boy. Yeah, that's a great effort. Well, advantage, Taylor Gooch. Yeah. It's into the grain, so i got to play more of an explosive shot. Yeah, I'm with you. I agree. Amazing second shot to get it this close to the hole. Nicely. Where are you seeing it needing to be? Life the age of it. If he can put this one away, he is the Live Golf League champion. He sends it on its way.
great to compete here in Spain in front of all these people. That was a, that was a cool fight to watch. I was sitting down here and, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that beat being that beat, I love it. The live golf and a Lucia champion from Range Goats GC for the third time this season, Taylor Gooch. I don't know, maybe it's something in the wine. Uh, we had some good wine in Australia, some good wine here. You know, hit a confident putt, it was gonna go in, and it was time to show off a little bit, so. You need to chill off a little bit. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <touché>. <laughs> <laughs>